Hey guys, Miss Rodriguez over here, and this is the demo video for your watercolor tattoo project. And I'm gonna go over the wet onto dry technique and my thought process about where to place the color in terms of American traditional tattoos. So, I loaded up my brush with some watercolor, but I always like to test it out first because you can't really take back watercolor, you can't really erase it, so what I want to figure out right now is where to place this blue. Because in terms of American traditional, there's bold colors around the objects. So, I'm considering putting this on the water bottle itself, like the translucent plastic part, because it doesn't have to be realistic. That's the whole thing about this style. So, I'm just checking to see if it's going to be too bold, practicing my mark making while I'm at it. I'm using a Filbert brush. So that's about what I want to achieve. I go, let me see. Yeah. Just go for a steady hand and I am going to do it. Try not to look through my phone, but Keep a steady hand and gently lift. All right, and then for the end, I always like to take a clean brush, right? Clean and dry and just lift it, lift it, lift it as best as I can. And then I'm going to go in for a bit more color with the wet brush that I already have. Do my mark making. That is too much water on the brush. So I take my paper towel and just dab it a bit. And then I go back to my test paper and yep, that's good. So then I push, then I drag, drag my hand along the surface too, so it's a bit more steady. And I just curve. I go with the shape of the water bottle. And where else? I'm gonna do it over here. Yeah, that is the wet on dry technique. I'll see ya. And I can't wait to see what you create. 